What's going on guys? It's Voodoo51292 here. Um, welcome to uh, a video type that I really don't do uh, too often. I only do it when uh, we're kind of at an odd day of the week and uh, there's some important information, some changing of plans and things, or some addition of plans in the middle of a week that I feel that you guys should know about. Um, it's a midweek update and uh, like I said, it's kind of a rare occurrence, but this week um, I feel that I need to do it. Uh, I also feel I need to straighten my camera because it just the angle of it just looks weird. All right, there we go. Now it looks like it's straight on. Um, what's the date today? It's April. Tin my my TV. April twenty fifth, right? Twenty fourteen. It is a Friday. Um, so, um, yeah, I just want to pass along some information to you guys and talk to you about content that's coming up that I'm about to start actually probably as soon as I'm done making this video. Uh, new gaming content. Because here's the deal. I, as you know, have now completed Dark Souls. Um, I actually beat the game on Monday. Uh, I've also reviewed the game and uploaded uh, that to YouTube. So I beat Dark Souls way sooner than I, than I thought. Uh, when I picked up the game Monday to play, I had only beaten Grave Lord Nito, and I was like halfway through the Demon Ruins. That was it. And on Monday, I I more or less just powered through. I mean, I had gone through the Duke's archives already, but I had I basically powered through on Monday the end of the game. It didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it would. I went and, and uh, beat Bed of Chaos, and then I hopped right over to Cease to fight him again. And I it only took two or three tries to beat him. And then New Londo actually turned out to not be that long of an area. Uh, because even though it's a maze, me just running through and bumbling through the stage, I found out, you know, the right way to go, and I beat the four kings in one try. Uh, Gwyn obviously posed a much uh, bigger problem. It took, I, I must have fought him like 10 or 15 times and just got killed every time until I finally decided that, despite really wanting to complete the entire game beginning to end without ever summoning, and I had up until that point, that I just was tired of fighting this guy by myself and I couldn't figure out how to beat him so I did summon one other dude to go kill him and beat the game. So I beat it on Monday and now that leaves us kind of in no man's land because as I've said the next new game that I'm going to be actually tr t uh, I was going to say testing out but I guess that's not right. The next new game I'm going to be doing a playthrough of is actually going to be Dark Souls 2 which I'm going to be getting on my birthday, which is May the 12th, all right? We're going to be playing that, and then Watch Dogs comes out on May 27th, which I'm also receiving as a gift, and, uh, you know, we'll start that up at that point and balance it with Dark Souls 2 or whatever. So I still have plenty of time now to play something. I have, what, three weeks, I guess, now, um, with nothing new to play, and so I decided, I was like, what am I going to do for content now? And I toss all kinds of possibilities around in my head. All right, I have some options for some games that I already have to go back and play, or I had the option if I could go to GameStop or whatever and pick up an older game to play that maybe I hadn't played before. And after tossing around all the possibilities in my head, what I've decided to do, and some people might like this, some people may not care, you know, but all I'm doing is trying to come up with ideas now, biding time until Dark Souls 2, is um, I've decided to go back and do a filmed playthrough of my favorite game ever, which was Bioshock, the first one. Um, I was I had planned to do this like two years ago in 2012, and I actually started doing a playthrough, but I only got through like part seven before I lost interest in it, and other games came out, and I moved on and abandoned it. And obviously that was still when I was filming with a video camera and all that stuff. Um, so what I did today was I went ahead and just went back and deleted those seven videos from way back in 2012 and I'm going to start new. Uh, I'm going to start a game, just normal difficulty, because uh, I just played Dark Souls, I'm going to play Dark Souls 2, I don't want to like kill myself. Um, I already have Platinum the game, I've gotten everything on it and that's the PS3 version, so that's the one that has that ridiculously hard uh, difficulty setting, whatever it's called, and I forget, in insane or impossible or something like that. Whereas 360, I think, only had, like, hard. I beat the game on a step higher, like, impossible without using Vita Chambers. It was ridiculous. But I did platinum the game, so I don't have anything like that to go for. I basically just want to do a playthrough of it because, like I said, it's my favorite game ever. And I don't have a filmed playthrough of me doing it. Now, back in 2012, when I started doing this playthrough, that was in 2012 when I basically had next to no viewership. 
that playthrough actually was doing well. Um, even though I, I had barely any viewership when I did that two years ago, it was doing well. And now that I have a lot more subs and stuff, maybe it will do, um, you know, well again. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a half walkthrough, I guess you could say, because like I said, this is going to be like my fifth or sixth time playing the game. Um, I know, you know, the secret areas. I know how to get to all the stuff and where to go and everything. So I guess in a way it's going to be kind of like a half playthrough, half walkthrough. But, um, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it because you, you get to watch someone playing it who knows what they're doing and who loves the game and who appreciates the game. And, and like I said, it is my favorite game. So hopefully that appreciation, I haven't actually done a playthrough of the game since last year uh, when I did my impossible run. So it's been a little while since I've played it, but um, it's just a great game, and I feel like I could replay the game as many times as I wanted and still love it every time. So that's what I've decided to do for now. Um, reasons other options I didn't take. First of all, I could have done some things, like I could have gone back and finished the Fallout 3 DLC. To be honest, I'm really just not in that mood. Like, I, I don't know, I don't feel like going to play the DLC right now. I didn't feel like playing Fallout for a while until I got the urge, and that's when I started the DLC. And then now that I've stopped, I kind of don't have the urge to go back again. Um, and like I said, that footage, almost nobody was watching it anyway. Um, I could have gone back and played, picked up again with like Kingdom Hearts. Um, you know, or I could have gone out and bought like Deus Ex Human Revolution, or um, I actually was thinking about pl uh, starting Dragon Age Origins that I borrowed from Tyler. But the thing is, is like all those games are very long, and I don't want to start doing a playthrough of a very long game right now knowing that I'm not going to beat it in time for the new games. And so then we'll just have a playthrough stuck in the middle that probably will never get finished. And that's just, there's no point in that. You know, I have final exams starting up next week and then finishing the week after. And so, you know, if I'm going to do a game, I want to do a game that I'm going to, that's going to take up some time, but that I'm going to be able to definitely beat before the new games come out so we don't have any loose ends out there. I have enough of those already on my channel. I don't need another. So that's why I decided to play Bioshock 1. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I can't guarantee everyone's going to want to see that or even care. Uh, if you're disappointed, you don't want to see that. Like I said, there's nothing I can really do. I'm just trying to buy time and do stuff on the channel until we can play Dark Souls 2 and, and Watch Dogs, which I think probably everybody will look forward to. Um, but I don't control those release dates. So... If you don't like this, again, like like I've said in the past, I've now capped 4,000 videos on my channel, so there's probably some other gameplay and stuff on there that you haven't seen that you might want to check out. Like I said, there's plenty of people who I'm sure still haven't checked out my Dark Souls playthrough um, since I beat it in such a short time, uh, just like two and a half weeks. You know, I played it a lot faster than people are probably watching it, so... I think it's a really, really good playthrough. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the game, and the fact that I went through it for the most part without looking stuff up and not summoning until the very final boss fight, um, I think it's pretty good. And uh, so I think people will enjoy it. So if you haven't watched that playthrough, you can check it out. Whatever you want to do as we wait for uh, May the 12th is my birthday, and that's the day I'm expecting actually to get Dark Souls 2. So we're basically just biding time for the next few weeks until May 12th when I can get Dark Souls 2 and start a new game. Um, so Bioshock 1 starts today, okay? Uh, I'm going to set up and start playing it right after this video. I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat the game. I don't know if I'm going to go on a marathon run this weekend or what, but that's what's coming, okay? Um, next, I have some ideas about a, a series of videos that I want to do. Um, I'm not sure when these are going to start, but it's going to be a series of four videos. And what it basically is going to be is I'm going to be doing a series of videos uh, where I'm going to pay tribute to um, four of my closest friends. Four of my friends that have, that have really been the closest to me um, going up through high school and into college. Uh, and I'm gonna do one video per friend. So it's gonna be a video, uh, it's gonna be a series of four tribute videos, one to each uh, friend that I've picked. And I'm gonna do, be doing one for Tyler, for Dave, for Chris, and for Brandon, all right? 
And obviously, I know I have some other friends. I have my friend Gerald, like I talked about, but he's almost not even a friend to me. He's like a brother to me. And, you know, he's never been on the channel or anything, so you guys don't know anything about him. I know he, he never sees my channel or anything. So, um, you know, he he's like almost a special case, you know what I mean? He's almost like not a friend. He's almost like my family. So I don't know if he really qualifies for this. Um, I thought about doing one for my girlfriend, but again, she's not really on the channel, and though she definitely deserves one, I always feel kind of reserved and kind of cautious about putting anything about her out on the internet. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's an irrational fear with me, but I'm very, like, I don't know. I'm very protective of her, and I just... I don't really like the idea of putting her her information or whatever out without asking her permission, uh, you know, on the internet. And so I, and plus that's, you know, my relationship that's a little personal and sappy. Some of the stuff we've been through, though, you know, is kind of personal. So I don't know if it really works. So what I did was I decided on those four guys, um, Tyler and Dave I met in high school. Chris I met um, just prior to starting my freshman year here. And Brandon, obviously... I met here over YouTube and he's the one you know the most about. But these videos are going to be a little bit different because I'm going to tell you sort of our history as friends, sort of like how I met each particular friend I do a video on and um, just kind of some of the stuff we've done together and then ultimately like what that friend means to me and um, you know what I see. Okay, hold on. Someone's banging on my door. I'll be back. All right, little jump cut. Sorry about that. Dave's key stopped working. We have on, on our apartment doors these like electronic keys, and his wasn't working for some reason, so I had to go let him in. Um, but anyway, where I left off, yeah, I was talking about the the, the tribute friend videos I'm gonna make. Um, you know, I'm gonna make those. I don't know when that series is gonna start. Um, you know, I'm just not sure yet. Maybe this week. Maybe next week. We'll have to see. And, uh, you know, I was kind of prompted to do this just because I know that I'm graduating from college in three weeks, you know, I'm moving on. And I don't know, you know, obviously it doesn't affect my relationship with Brandon, but as far as the other three, it will. I'm definitely not going to see nearly as much of these guys. Um, I've been living with, um, you know, <clears throat> these, you know, these same guys on and off now for four years. And, uh, we're all moving on with our lives, and I don't know how much I'm going to see these guys again or whatever. It's going to be the least amount of time since we really met. So um, I just wanted to make those videos. Hopefully, I know those guys all check my channel out from time to time, so hopefully, you know, they'll appreciate that, and, um, and you know, I'll just be able to, to voice my opinion on that and let you guys know uh, what's so special about each one of them. And like I said, you've seen them on my channel from time to time in one capacity or another, and now you'll, you know, get to know them a little better hopefully and uh, it should be it should be a good thing um, it's kind of the first time I'm really opening up in any way about how much each individual person means to me and why you know they're just awesome friends so that's coming and uh, yeah that's on the way so just last little thing once again I'm gonna remind people not not today but um, two weeks actually yeah two weeks from today. Today's Friday, so two weeks from today I'm having live stream on Ustream of my final Packing for Home Ever series. It's gonna be on Ustream, Voodoo51292 is the channel. 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 8 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time in the U.S. is the time the stream's starting. Hopefully people come out and have fun with it, spread the word. Um, hope to see you all on that live stream. And I'm gonna go set up now and start playing Bioshock which hopefully at least some of you enjoy um, and can watch while we're waiting for new games. All right, so thanks a lot. I'm Voodoo. Peace out. Have a good one, and uh, I'll see you during Bioshock.